Since the year 2011, trade between Kenya and South Africa has been on a decline, hurt by diplomatic spats leading to frosty relations between Nairobi and Pretoria. Latest statistics from the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics indicate that imports from South Africa to Kenya declined from a high of 70.7 billion shillings in 2011 to 62.3 billion shillings, while Kenya sold goods worth 4.3 billion shillings to South Africa from a high of 6 billion shillings in 2014. This has forced Kenya to hit back, demanding that South Africans willing to visit Kenya lodge visa applications one week before their travel. We will be working with the Kenya Chamber of Commerce to identify such people so that the, this uh, facility doesn't get exploited. Because many such facilities in international um, uh, relations get revoked or rescinded, not because of any particular problem other than that they are being abused by people who are not supposed to be obtaining them, accessing them. The two African giants have now agreed to relax restrictions to facilitate trade between Nairobi and Pretoria. South African Home Affairs Minister Malusi Gigaba says Kenyan business people and those in pursuing studies will get a 10-year multiple entry visa to South Africa in a bid to boost bilateral ties. These are two leading countries both on the continent and within their respective regions. We have much more to achieve uh, in working together than working against one another, uh, fighting over or bickering over issues um, that we should be collaborating on resolving. The raft of measures also allows for Kenyan applicants to seek permanent residency visas in South Africa as part of exporting talent to the country. We are going to sign a visa exemption agreement with the government of uh, His Excellency President Kenyatta uh, for diplomatic and um, official passport holders. With regard to business people, we are issuing them a 10-year multiple entry visa. So if you are a business person, bona fide business person traveling to South Africa, you can now apply for a 10-year multiple entry visa. In addition, holders of diplomatic and official passports will have visa exemption, while frequent travelers will hold a multiple entry visa for three years. Frequent business and academic travelers will hold a 10-year multiple entry visa.